video. We're still talking about how to beat the heat. Um, it's getting to be August, although it's still hot in most of the country, unless you're high in the mountains, where it probably never got very hot. Right now, it's still pretty hot in the country. Uh, by the time you see this, I hopefully soon it may not be. If you're heading toward the desert, the desert can be hot year-round. Um, not miserably hot, 80s uh, year-round, but not much above that. So all year round, some of you are concerned about heat, and if not, you should be thinking about it next year. So we've talked in the past about uh, installing a fantastic fan, roof fan, in the back door. And we're in that van. Can you see back there that, that the fantastic fan back there? But most fan, most of your vans will have a fantastic fan up here in the roof somewhere. Uh, this one, because it's a fiberglass high top, and if you have a fiberglass high top, you know how what a mess it is. Probably your first choice is a roof vent, uh, particularly a Fantastic Fan or a Max Air, one of those, because they're going to give you uh, a lot of movement up. The price on the um, Fantastic Fan, so let me show you that, the roof mount, the Fantastic Fan, uh, just one way, is $135. If you want it reversible, and you do want it reversible, it's $160. So that's a lot of money. And let's say you can only afford one, and then most of you, some of you may, and you're going to put a little another 20 in, in parts and pieces to install it. You're going to buy screws, you're going to buy putty tape, you're going to buy uh, a sealant to seal it with. So you're going to spend at least $20 more in parts. So you're looking at $180 bucks for a reversible. But let's say you mount it up here. So you mount it right there, which would be typical. And, you know, like, if this is my assistant's KC's van. She has a desk back here, and she sits here. So the fan is way up front, and she's way back here. What she needs, now she can open the back door and sit here um, and get a, a, an air movement. That's the key thing you want is an airflow. But even more important, I think, is to have a portable fan sitting next to you. And so today we're talking about portable fans. If you are really tight on money, uh, you can buy a roof vent for like 40, another 20 in parts. For about 60 bucks, you can have a roof vent, put it in yourself, and then the portable fans. And that is, I think that's still a really good way to go. So why would you go with a portable fan instead of, and I think in some ways, a portable fan is is superior to a roof fan, although they always work best together. Uh, first off, the roof fan is so expensive. You know, you, that's a lot of money to work up there. They're hard to install. If you don't know how to install it, and you have to pay someone $100, $200, $300 to install it, then the cost escalates tremendously. Uh, and there's the big thing is, there's no direct aiming. So even if you have it blowing out or reversible blowing in, you're back here, the fan is here, you're not going to feel a lot of direct air on you. And what makes you comfortable is air blowing on you. The more air you have blowing on you, hitting your skin, now the reason you feel cooler is evaporation. It's evaporative cooling. Your skin is always uh, sweating, especially on a hot day. It's, you're slightly perspiring everywhere all the time, whether you feel it or not. And when the cool air hits the moisture on your skin, it pulls it off, and that act of movement of air, the water moisture being pulled off your skin, is evaporative cooling, uh, cooling, kind of like a swamp cooler. That's why you're cool. So the more air hitting you on a hot day, the cooler you'll be. And if the fan is way up here, you're not getting a lot of air hitting you. So uh, we're going to talk about portable fans. And these are four portable fans that we own and that I will recommend. And they vary in price and noise and volume of air they push. So let's look at them now. This happens to be one that I own. It's an O-Polar and it's five volt. You can probably see that there. It's, well, I'm gonna just get it out. Oh yeah, you can see that. So it just stands into a, plugs into a standard five volt USB plug. Uh, it works out to be 0.8 amps. It's very quiet and it's moving uh, a lot of air this close. So if I'm setting here and I have it setting here, it's an amazing amount of air, plenty. Uh, and so it's a great fan. It's one of my first choices uh, for any of you because it's a USB. You can t plug it into a battery bank, take it outside, it becomes a portable fan. 
Now this is $24 on Amazon, but all these links will be at the bottom. I really, really recommend this. Uh, and being this close, you can probably pick up the sound pretty well. It's very quiet. Of all the fans, it's by far the most quiet. I think it's the best thing for the buck. Amount of air moved and the sound. No, it's, fans running can be real annoying. It's the old polar. It's 9-inch USB. It's uh, It will run. They have two models. One that runs off batteries and one that does not. This fan is $24 or $29 with the uh, built-in uh, 18650 lithium battery, which is the best battery you can buy. Uh, they're not common. Once you have them, they'll last forever and they run super long time. You could run this for 10 hours on 8 amps out of your battery, which is nothing. You know, you can run this all day and you'll never, you'll never notice it. I, on my batteries, I wouldn't. Now, here's something else to think about. Whatever you put your battery, wherever you put your Fantastic Fan, if you put it up here or if you put it down there, the key thing you're wanting to do is move air through the body of the van, whether you're sucking it out or blowing it in. Uh, and so a lot of what we'll do is if it's, if say you had it up here and your back doors are open, but it's a still day, you would put your fans midway to move the air further and faster. So I'd put this fan at the end. I'd probably put this fan right down here towards the end. And then I would put this fan aiming like this, two fans. Uh, so the fans here, the roof vents here, it's pushing it in. This is grabbing it, pushing it out. This is grabbing it and pushing it even further out. You're going to get a real air movement. Or in this case, we have this vent, the side door. We could set this, we could have it on and set this right here. And have, have it blowing in from the roof vent and this pushing it out. So we're moving air through the van. Not just in or out through the roof vent, but all the way through the length of the van. If you have a extended van, that becomes even more important because extended vans are so long. So the, that's the beauty of portable fans. You can set it right up next to you, uh, or you can have it to moving air through the whole van. This next one where is, it? is the um, Endless Breeze. It is made by Fantastic Fan. It is... Uh, by the Fantastic Fan Company. It's my understanding that this is the exact same fan that they put in their roof fans, uh, in their roof vents, uh, except that it's in a housing, so you can move it around. And it moves a lot of air. Uh, let me turn it on. This is the Endless Breeze. It's pretty loud. It's, uh, it's really moving some air. But it's loud. I wouldn't, and I'm kind of having you know, inside the van, my voice really, my big voice really carries. I've got to talk pretty loud over this. You, you may not be able to hear me. So there's three. It's 2.6 on high. Uh, 1.2 amps on low and off. Got the legs to to stand it. Uh, and they're, for, you know, they're, they're incredibly well made. This will last forever. I owned one of these. Um, I probably owned it for 10 years and then finally just gave it away. I don't think it would ever fail. They are just fantastically well made. Uh, but it's expensive. It's $80. Uh, so I could buy three of these for the price of one of these and really move some air around. And with a couple of these setting beside me, it would be quieter and move more air than this one would. Not only that, but I can run this one off batteries or off of a it's USB off of a little battery bank. And so, boy, there's a lot of, of um, advantages to this one for that really low price. But that's a great fan. It takes up its biggest. You can see of all these fans, it's by far the biggest. It takes the most room. When you don't have much room, that's important. Uh, this one's really small and doesn't take up much room. It's USB. You can run it off your laptop. Uh, so that's really good. Now here is another one. This is the Road Pro. Let me plug it in. If you've ever been to a truck stop, you've seen that there are Road Pro uh, products all over the truck stop, and you can buy it off Amazon. I think I did buy that one off Amazon. So it's moving a lot of air. It's kind of loud. Okay, and that's on low. That's on high. It's moving a lot of air. 
Uh, it's also, uh, I just took off these covers so you could see, it takes 8D eight, eight batteries. You can easily hang this from something, which is something I like, and also the, the Endless Breeze. This is much smaller and lighter. I would choose this one over the Endless Breeze. It's uh, $28. Now, I believe this is actually made by a company called O2 Cool. If you've been to Walmart, you know they sell O2 Cool. And O2 Cool makes one exactly like this, or no, it's not. It's pretty similar to this, but it comes with batteries and it draws an app and it's $50. Okay, so I'm really happy with this. I actually own this. This one's mine. I carry it around and if I need to move, uh, move air through the whole van on a really hot day, that's what I'm going to use. Okay, finally, let's look at the clip-on. And this is a clip-on. You can see that it clips on, literally. And now one of the good things I like about it, so let's say my uh, overhead vent's right here blowing out. I can run this blowing at it, and I like that. I could put it down here, and I'm pushing air towards the vent. It's, it's pushing air out, this is pushing air, and I've got the back door open, the side door open, and it's pushing air up and out, and it's just going to move a much better breeze working as a system. A, a ventilation system. Uh, there are going to be some vans where a clip-on would not be ideal. Um, let me show you another thing I, you can do with this to make it a, work a little better. Find a little piece of board or a book. I mean, I mean, literally, I didn't bring any books with me, but you could just put this on a on a book about this size, and that would be. So I really like these. I, I really like the um, the clip-ons. Let me plug it in. I own this, and I use this every day, all summer. I have. Um, I have used it, this for the purpose I've described of moving air through the van. It's only got the one speed. Uh, it moves a fair amount of air, not the most. It's 0.8 amps, and so it's exactly the same number of amps as this. These are both 0.8 amps. This one I think is a little more flexible. I bought this off Amazon for 20 bucks, but Walmart has them probably for a little less. I'd guess 15, maybe seven, 15 to 20 bucks at Amazon. Every truck stop has these. Uh, it's called Hopkins. If you go to Amazon, I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, so it'll oscillate. I don't like them oscillating, but if you do, I like this fan a lot. This is a fan I own, and I think the clip-on, I think the combination of this this one and this one is what I use every day. When in Medford, Oregon, where it's been really hot, it's been over 100. It's been up to 102, 103. Uh, I use these two every day in my van, and I've been—it's worked really well for me. I, I recommend that combination. I don't really recommend the Endless Breeze. The quality is fantastic. It moves a huge amount of air. It's noisy. It's big. Um, it's just not what I recommend. Although the, it will last you the rest of your life. Fantastic fans are just high, high quality. I do like the Road Pro. Uh, it's a good fan. Uh, they're all 12 volt. I guess we didn't cover that, did we? They're all 12 volt. They all use a cigarette lighter plug. Well, except the USB, and it uses USB. One thing we should say that both of us have noticed is he's got these screws here that uh, tighten that, and my goodness, they will not stay tight. Uh, put a lock, couple little bit of Loctite, or a, a, take it all the way out and put a little tiny lock washer on it, and that'll do it too. So next, I'm going to run a little uh, decibel meter, you can see here, uh, and test the sound volume of each one. It's not going to be scientifically accurate, but all, all we want to do is compare one against the other, and it should do that reasonably well, and we'll know which one is loudest and quietest. So we'll test the first one. I'll, I'll pause for it to get quiet. This thing is real sensitive, and then we, I'll turn it on. So the next one will be the old, uh, the Rode Pro. Now we will do the Endless Breeze and we'll do it on all three settings.
now this is finally we'll do the O polar You know, the decibel meter was really kind of weird. It just jumped around so much, never held a steady. Those results were a little surprising to me. Of course, this was the quietest by far, because on low, you can barely hear this thing. This was the second most quiet, and then these two were roughly tied. Surprising to me. However, I would say the endless breeze was moving a lot more air, and therefore probably the better deal of the two, except for its size, uh, the quality is better for sure. On high, they were about the same. This one on low was quieter than this one. And the middle the middle setting was about the same as this one all the way around. So quietness, uh, by far the winner, number two, uh, tied basically for three and four. Um, but you get moving the most air with this one. So I would, I would say that uh, air for noise, this is the best. It's moving more air for not a whole lot more noise than either of these two. But it's big size and it's very high cost, 80 bucks. So which one would I buy? I think I'd do exactly what I've been doing. I don't think I'll make any changes. I will continue with this one. I did just order a second one of these with a battery because being able to take it outside and set it up outside is a really huge deal. Um, and I will continue to own the clip-on because I just find the clip-on the handiest thing of all. Let me show you one thing. I'm going to switch over here. A lot of people are having no air conditioning or having trouble with air conditioning. You just drop the visor. Uh, you, can, you can keep it over here and aim it right at you while you're driving. And so you're getting not only the vents, uh, but you're getting this thing blowing a lot of air. I think the ability to move this from the cab while you're driving to the back is just a huge deal. You can also clip it on a window. And so that's going to move the maximum amount of air from outside inside. Uh, there's a slight breeze. I can feel it coming through the window. And if I turn this on, plug it into the dash or, or run it into the back, then I'm moving the maximum amount of outside cool air. If you park so this side is in the north and it always has cool air in the shade, that's going to be the coolest air you can get into the van. I think this is a really big plus for a clip-on. Or if you can do this, the opposite. If you are uh, if you got your vent, overhead vent blowing inward, you want to move air out of the van. So you could just reverse it and clip it on. See, now it's blowing air outside of the van. You don't have a powered vent. You're blowing air out now. It, you've replaced it with a $20 fan. And a couple of these here, one here, and I could put one here. And I've got, I've essentially replaced a $160 fantastic fan. So uh, that's a really good thing to, to think about. $35 vent and two of these and you spend a lot less money and uh, you saved yourself a bunch of money and you're still moving a whole lot of air. So lots of options here. I think a portable fan is, if it's in a hot country, is, a, is a, an essential. And I would really recommend all of you give some thought to them. Hope that helps. I hope you learned something. This will help you to stay cooler while you're driving by clip-ons up front or in back or vents and however you're doing it. So uh, until next time, I hope you gained something. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell button to get notifications. Just subscribing won't get you notifications. You got to hit the little bell and we'll talk to you later.